Hey guys, happy wax on Wednesdays. I have been working on some larger florals on panel in the studio and sometimes it's fun to do uh, some warm-ups on the heated surface on the heated palette and pull some monotypes. Uh, playing around with some colors that I might be using on some larger pieces, on some larger paintings, and just sort of um, exploring that color, those color options, and playing around with the color palette by pulling these monotype prints. And I'm using the uh, Paula Roland Hot Box. And there's also, um, and Costco's makes an anodized aluminum plate that you can put right on your, um, right on your griddle or right on your heated palette. And you can also use an R and F uh, heated an R and F heated palette as well. It also has an anodized aluminum surface that you can pull these encaustic monotypes from. And for this today, I'm just using some R and F pigment sticks. You can use any sort of oil paint sticks will work. There's several brands out there. Uh, today, I'm using R and F. And also you can use encaustic paints and, uh, and use those for these monotype prints as well. I'm using the r &F, the same pigment sticks that I'm actually using on my larger painting. So that's why I'm sort of just playing around and exploring co color um, with these florals. And it's really fun to just sort of um, loosen up and keep really loose and uh, for these mono prints and just sort of really explore that color and I'm using a bunch of different types of rice papers and uh, for this and each type of paper will pull the print differently so it's kind of fun to see how the print will come out on different papers. And I don't like to waste any of this good oil paint so you can do a ghost print and pick up most of the uh, rest of the paint that's still on your surface with a ghost print or you can just paint right over it which is what I'm doing here and I like to um, add in a different color every time I paint over it you can see I'm adding in maybe one or two different colors uh, to the mix and sort of um, mixing them up right there on the palette I'm using a catalyst tool to mix the, the color in and it, you can use a catalyst blade, a catalyst wedge, it's basically a rubber spatula and you can mix those colors right there on the heated surface which is kind of fun. And if you'd like to see the exact colors that I use today or um, the which catalyst uh, tool that I'm using, I have a supply list right there on the blog um, on Plays With Paper and there's a link in the description box of this video. Uh, linking right to the blog post with all of the supplies listed. And if you would like to learn more about exploring encaustic monotypes and working with encaustic on paper, Encausticology Paper Journey is available, work, online workshop is available at any time on SherryRepluggle.com.
And now I'm working much bigger on a scroll of rice paper and it's fun to play around also with different sizes of the rice paper. It comes in a variety of sizes that you can do a really big large panel or a really long uh, scroll and it's kind of fun to play around with uh, the sizes of rice paper as well. Thanks so much for joining me today on Wax on Wednesdays. And if you would like to take a live workshop uh, with encaustic monotypes or uh, another workshop from the Encausticology series, I will be posting uh, a series of workshops in the fall of September, October, and November live in the studio here in Cincinnati. So look for um, the post on the website, sherryrefogel.com, for all of the upcoming dates for those workshops. And we will see you next week on Wax on Wednesdays. Happy creating!